Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a progress bar in Roblox to do. So basically it's like there's like a mission or something like uh, like get 10 diamonds or something then progress like 10 out of like 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10 and then it and the bar slowly tweens until you get the thing. So that's what I'm going to be teaching about and let's start it. So first you're going to need a frame in screen GUI, uh, in starter GUI and uh, screen GUI name it uh I don't know, missions, something like that. Missions, and then uh, ignore build set to true and reset on spawn to false. And then we're gonna have a frame over here. Okay, this frame will be called, uh, let's say, uh, progress frame. Okay, make it whatever size you want. I'm gonna make it, uh, let's see, 100 by 50. Uh, 250 by 50, yeah, that would work, okay? Uh, let's, uh, let's see, let's make it nice, so let's add a UI corner to it. So now we have this, and then let's give it a nice color. Mm, blue. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then we'll need, uh, hmm, then we need another frame, this is gonna be the bar. We're gonna put it here. This, just make it cover the entire of this bar, uh, and then put a UI corner in it, and then put it like, make it like a green or something. So this is gonna be the bar, and then we're also gonna have a text label right there, so it's gonna show the progress. This, uh, so just do this, Transpar background transparency one, uh, text scaled if I'm right. Yeah, uh, make it scaled and do uh, looks like diamonds. One out of ten. That's no, just do like zero out of ten for now. Zero out of ten. And then just on the missions, not in the frame, put a text label right here. And then just do this like that. Okay, then we're gonna do text scaled over here. And then we're gonna do, uh, then we're gonna do, uh, we're just gonna call this diamond. Okay, so we're gonna uh, make this text that will say diamond, so diamond 0 out of 10, put it right here, boom. Okay, now let's get to the scripting part of it. So we're gonna insert a local script just into the screen show GUI, and then we're gonna start scripting. Okay, so we're just gonna do wait 1, wait 1, then we're gonna do local player equals to game dot players dot local player, then we're gonna do local diamonds equals to player dot leader stats dot diamonds and I'll put that leader stat in later and then we're gonna do a uh, script dot parent dot progress frame dot bar tween size udim2 dot new so this is basically just gonna put the bar to zero right away udim2 dot new uh, zero comma diamonds dot value out of 10 so divided by 10 so just because of uh, whatever this value is like is it out of so, out of 50 out of 10 something like that and then we're gonna do times 250 why are we doing times 250 well if you look at the bar see this value 250 not the vertical value the x value yes put the x value there so which is 250 okay that's all we need and then comma one comma zero Okay, and then we're gonna do uh, a put, put a comma here. No way. I think I'm being, okay. Yeah, comma here. Out. Uh, then we're gonna do linear. So out is how it's going. Linear is gonna be the tween cell, and then one. How many seconds it takes? And then we're gonna close this. I think I did something wrong here. You do. Oh yeah, I'm sped. I'm sped. Sorry. Oh yeah, I know what- oh, sorry about that. I did something wrong. We're gonna close this, close this, put parenthesis here, and here, okay? And then we're gonna comma here, and then out- I think this is it. Zero, this, one, 
Oh wait, UDM two dot new. One zero. Ah yeah, like this. Okay, script them all will be in the description. So just take it like this. It's I feel like it's this. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna do player dot leader stats dot diamonds. Get property. Uh, get property change signal. Property changed signal. And then we're gonna do a uh, value. So each time the value changed, then connect function. Then we're gonna do, now we're just gonna tween this. So just take this, put this here, and then script.parent.progressframe.text label, dot text, nope, not transparency, dot text, equals to kills, no, equals to, uh, let's see, uh, kills our value. Uh, no, not kills our value. I'm so, why are all these things is kills? Diamonds dot value, dot dot, out of 10. Basically, out of 10. So, I think, and then now we just need the leader stats. Game dot players, no, not paste in the, dot players dot player added, connect, function, player, local leader stats equals to instance dot new folder comma play plr player uh, leader stats dot name equals to leader stats then we're gonna do local diamonds equals to instance dot new int value comma uh leader stats no this is annoying. okay diamonds dot name equals to diamonds and then diamonds dot value equals to zero okay now all we need is to put a part into workspace this will be uh, just this is just gonna be a part to get the leader stats uh, so we're just gonna insert a script script uh, debounce equal, equals to true uh, script dot pair dot, dot oh no uh, we have to insert a click detector here and put the script inside the click detector script dot parent dot mouse click connect function plr if the balance equals equals to true then the balance equals to false uh, player dot leader stats dot diamonds dot value equals to player dot leader stats dot diamonds dot value plus one and then wait one the balance equals to true and I think we're we have it there okay let's see so as you can see the bar all the way went down because that's what I told the game to do to show that it's 0 out of 10 now let's head over to that part mm, come on okay we're heading over to the part okay we're in the range and now look if we click it one we have one diamond progress bar goes up it tweens up two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten fills up the entire bar and boom we have that progress bar working so remember all scripts and models in the in the description and that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and turn on those notifications bye Hello.